Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're trying to decide between Adobe Acrobat Pro and Adobe Acrobat Standard, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll break down the key differences, pricing, and which version is best for you in 2025. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First, let's talk about what both versions have in common. So whether you choose Standard or Pro, this is what you will get. Now you can modify text and images in PDFs with ease, making quick changes without needing the original document. Now this feature is useful for professionals who regularly update reports, contracts, or other important files. You can easily transform Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents into PDFs for a universally accessible format. Now this ensures that files maintain their formatting regardless of the device or software used to view them. You can add e-signatures to documents for fast, paperless transactions, whether signing contracts, approvals, or forms. This feature simplifies workflow and enhances document security. You can secure sensitive PDFs with encryption, preventing unauthorized access. Now, this is essential for businesses handling confidential information such as legal agreements and financial statements. You can add annotations, sticky notes, and highlights to provide feedback or collaborate with a team. Now, these tools make it easier to review and approve documents without multiple email exchanges. Now let's take a look at what sets them apart. Now, Adobe Acrobat Standard is designed for everyday users who need to create, edit, and sign PDFs without advanced tools. It's great for professionals who only require basic PDF management and don't need complex editing features. However, it lacks advanced tools like OCR or Optical Character Recognition for scanned documents and doesn't include redaction, batch processing, or advanced security features which are exclusive to Acrobat Pro. Now, this means users handling scan documents or confidential information may find its functionality limited. Now, if you need more powerful PDF editing and security options, Adobe Acrobat Pro is the way to go. Here's what you get with the Pro version. You can convert scan documents into fully editable text making it easy to modify printed documents digitally. Now, this feature is especially valuable for legal, medical, and corporate industries where scanning and editing physical documents is common. You can also quickly compare two versions of a PDF to identify even the smallest text or formatting changes. Now, this is ideal for legal professionals, editors, or project managers who need to track document revisions efficiently. And you can permanently remove confidential or sensitive information before sharing a document. Now, this ensures compliance with privacy regulations and prevents data leaks in legal or business documents. You can also automate repetitive tasks such as file conversions, watermarks, and security settings across multiple PDFs at once. Now, this is a major time saver for users handling high volumes of documents regularly. And you can convert PDFs into multiple file formats, including HTML, XML, and image formats like PNG and JPG. Now, this flexibility is useful for businesses that need to repurpose content across different platforms. And you can request, collect, and track multiple signatures from different users within the same document. This streamlines approval processes, making it easier to finalize contracts and agreements. So if you work in law, finance, government, or any field requiring advanced PDF editing and security, Acrobat Pro is a must-have. Now let's talk about pricing. As for Adobe Acrobat Standard, it costs around $12.99 per month with an annual plan. And for Adobe Acrobat Pro, it costs $19.99 per month, also built annually. If you only need basic editing and signing features, 
standard is a cost-effective choice. But if you require OCR, redaction, or advanced security, Pro is well worth the extra investment. Now with its share of pros comes its cons. Let's take a look at the cons of each version. Now as for Acrobat standard, it has limitations, especially for users who require advanced document control. It lacks OCR, meaning you can't convert scanned documents into editable text, which can be a deal breaker for professionals working with paper-based files. Additionally, it doesn't include redaction tools. So if you need to securely remove sensitive information, you'll have to look elsewhere. While it covers the basics, Standard may feel restrictive for users who need more robust security and automation features. Now, as for Acrobat Pro, while it is powerful, it also comes at a much higher price point, which may not be justifiable for users who only need basic PDF editing. Its extensive feature set can also be overwhelming for casual users who don't require batch processing, reduction, or advanced security options. Additionally, some tools like OCR and e-signatures require an internet connection, which may not always be convenient for offline work. Despite its advantages, Pro might be overkill for users who don't need all its extra capabilities. So which version should you choose? Well, if you only need basic PDF editing, signing, and password protection, go with Acrobat Standard. It's affordable and gets the job done. It's perfect for individuals and small businesses that require standard PDF management without extra complexity. But if you work in a professional setting and need OCR, redaction, batch processing, and advanced security, Acrobat Pro is the smarter choice. The added features make it worth the investment for businesses handling high volumes of PDFs or sensitive documents. Ultimately, the decision comes down to your workflow needs and budget. And there you go. I hope that you have found this video helpful. See you guys next time.